What's up, everybody? Welcome to another stroll, guys. We're in Midtown, Manhattan, money-making Manhattan. I'm about to give you guys a look at Bryant Square Park. Just up the street. Let's enjoy this. There's supposedly a lot of live music going on. Midtown, baby. Midtown Manhattan. Lively. Friday night. Beautiful night. 76 degrees. No humidity. Breezy. Let's go for a stroll. I'm going to give you guys a look at one of the most famous buildings in uh, in the country. Featured in the, film, in the film Ghostbusters. If you guys know Ghostbusters, you're going to know this place. This is where the movie opened. It all happened here. The New York Public Library, guys. That's right, this is where Ghostbusters, the, the movie Ghostbusters opened up. I'm gonna give you guys a close look. Unfortunately, they're closed. I can't get in there, but maybe I'll include some links to my photography that I took in this place. They, they may be open because it's Friday and they, they, they tend to be open late. Let's see. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, nevertheless, I'll give you guys a look at this beautiful, astonishing building. Yeah, they're closed. It's okay. Look at this beautiful statue here of a lion. The New York Public Library. Uh, I will include a caption after I edit the video. I am not certain at the moment how old this, this building is, so I'll include a caption after I edit the video when I get home tonight. Beaux Arts Architecture, Beaux Arts. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Let's go take a look at the door. Stunning. Look at all this marble, guys. Look at all this marble. Looks like some bronze doors. Beautiful, beautiful, absolutely stunning. You know me guys, you know how much I love architecture. This building is very dear to me. Okay, on to Bryant Square Park guys. Live music is going on, I can hear it.
right as usual. There's a little bit of oregano in the air. That is to be expected when you visit New York City. It is always a constant. The use of oregano smoke, AKA Mary Jane. And most people do use it recreationally in public with no worries. <laughs> Oh man. A beautiful night, beautiful, beautiful night. There's an ice cream uh, truck. Another halal stand. One of many. And when you see the, the, the word halal, you, you know you're getting good food. I want to give I want to give you guys a look at the Chrysler building Art Deco architecture at its finest guys the Chrysler building right here on the corner of 5th and 42nd I love that building All right, let's get going. On to Bryant Square Park, folks. My second favorite park in the city. I come here every year to catch the live picnic performances, free concerts. Here we have a, uh, a newsstand, very iconic of New York City. Uh, these newsstands, these newsstands are very old. They've been here for a while and it's a good place to stop and get in the past to, to purchase a newspaper now more so beverages and candy and things like that <laughs> here's the side of the building of the New York Public Library it's a, it's a pretty big one it's a big one These guys, they, they, they make a lot of money, these guys on the bikes. They chauffeur people around and drive them to destinations. Mostly tourists, of course. All right, we're here, guys. We are here. We are here, folks. It should be fun. Barbie, let's go party. <laughs> Folks, this is the line to the bathroom, which is one of the cleanest public bathrooms in the city. Look at this line. People travel here just to use the bathroom because it's so clean.
Here's the other line. Oh, it's packed tonight. You can bet your ass it's going to be packed with the concert going on. Everybody's relaxing. A lot of chairs, a lot of picnic tables. Check this out, folks. Look at all these people. I'm going to give you guys a good look at some buildings too. Everyone's here with their dogs. Wow. I wanted to go to a, to the other show, the Barber of Seville, uh, but I missed it. I think because of weather, bad weather. Guys, check out the Empire State Building there. We made it. The Bryant Park picnic performance. Oh man, I love it. I come here at least twice a year for the free picnic performances. Featuring very talented artists, not just amateurs. These are some real deal professionals. The Metropolitan Opera, you name it. Beautiful scenery. Check out the Empire State Building there. Look at these beautiful buildings, folks. Art Deco. Art Deco, guys, at its finest. What a turnout, huh?
beats on an active that will hustle like that. A weekend in the country where we're twice as upset, twice as upset, we're twice as upset, we're twice as upset. Thank you all very, very much. We love coming here to Bryan Park. We thank Bryan Park, Dan Fishman and his staff, Bank of America. Tomorrow night, we have a very special concert. We have the American debut of an Italian tenor, Alessandro Laura. We have a 39-piece orchestra on stage, and an entire evening of Italian hit tunes from opera and from musicals, with two outstanding conductors as well. You're all invited. We'll also be back on September the 8th with a full C-stage production of Romeo and Juliet with orchestra. And always remember, you can text NYCO, N-Y-C-O, to 44321, and I will bring you an ice cream cone. Thank you all very, very much. Have a wonderful night, and we'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Hey, that's not bad for free, man. Free concert. Good stuff. Talented people. Talented singers and musicians. Everyone's having a good time. Let's go get some food, guys. Oh, what do we got here? Some food stalls. What? Guys, we have some food stalls, guys and gals. Let's go check them out. Get a good look at some food. Oh, wow. A lot of Mexican food. Oh, goodness. Good prices, too. Peruvian chicken. Brazilian picana. Plantains, avocado, sampler dishes, arepas. Oh, I got to put this camera down, folks. I got to put this camera down in a minute. What do we have here? Bow buns. Oh, wow. Guys, Bryant Square Park, street food, baby. There's always some street food at Bryant Square Park. You name it. Arepas. Not tacos, nachos. Bow buns. Pork belly bow buns. You name it, guys. We got it all here. Look at this crowd. 
The concert just ended. Stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna post it. A lot of performers, look at these jugglers. Let's continue on here with the uh, with the street food, folks. Look at this! Look at this beautiful food here: Indian food, samosas. Just the food. Just the food. Chickpeas, curry chickpeas, chicken vindaloo, right? Uh, no, uh, mixed veggie curry. Okay. Everything's vegetarian. Vegetarian? Okay. Tokyo Fried Chicken. Oh, look at this. Turkish food. Ma, ma, ma. Ooh, wee. Grape leaves. Stuffed grape leaves. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting hungry. Mm, mm, mm. Baklava. Oh, goodness. Sure thing, sure thing. And this oven is hot as hell because it's it's there's a lot of heat emanating from this piece of steel here. I don't know what it is. I would find out what it is. Oh wow. What is the Hi, sir. Like? What is this? It's like a jelly candy with rose water flavor. I don't want the candy. Like a candy. I don't no, want no, no, no. I want the food. I don't want candy. So, yeah. What has the most of the Mediterranean spinach recovery? It's just like this, sir. And then stuff with spinach, cheese, and chicken. Oh, I'll have one of those. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Okay, oh, yeah. It's good. Right, good yeah. All right. What else do we have? Let's go and... Check out some more stalls, guys. Oh man, five dollars for a for, for a platter of for a portion of grape leaves. What's that? What is that? So cute. This is lentil, red lentil with veggies. Okay. Lentils and what is that? Uh, lentils croquettes. Lentils? Lentils with broccoli and some scallions and onions and little garlic. Yeah. Mixed with I'll try one. It's like a lentil croquette, yeah. yeah. They're very good. I, I'll try one. They're fried though. Alright. I gotta school people on Turkish food, man. I know my Turkish food, you heard me? <laughs> I know my Turkish food. A lot of people uh, are only just getting acquainted with Turkish cuisine. Uh, not, not me. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm about to buy some now. Uh, hopefully find a table somewhere. I'm sure there's plenty of tables. Let's go check out the jugglers before I do grab the food. Look at these dudes. Not easy, not easy, not easy. There's the beautiful New York Public Library in the distance there, behind the trees, Vanderbilt Tower. One of my favorite residential buildings in all of the city. Look at that beauty right there. I'm gonna take a still image of that thing, you can guarantee that. I love that building, Art Deco at its finest. Oh, I love it here. Everybody's leaving New York, are you freaking kidding me? Get out of here. I'm not going nowhere. Some people can't afford to live here, I get it. If you can, I'll make the sacrifice if I, if I ever get to that point. Guys, here are the food stalls, like I just showed you. 
And like I mentioned earlier, the statue, one of my favorite statues in the city. It's a very small statue, but I love the I love the text on on, on it and the the uh, the phrase the scripture William Cullen Bryant this park is named after him again guys we're at Bryant Square Park New York City if you ever do happen to visit New York City if you ever happen to visit New York City, this is a place you need to visit, guys. And it's named after William Cullen Bryant. Born in 1794, died in 1878. He was, uh, he, was he, he, he had a good run. Uh, let's zoom in here. Here's a look at the statue of Edward uh, William Cullen Bryant. I'll give you guys a read. He was born in 1794, died in 1878, and this was his quote. Let yet let no empty gust of passion find an utterance in thy lay, a blast that whirls the dust along the howling street and dies away. But feelings of calm power and mighty sweep like currents journeying through the windless deep. Very profound stuff, guys. And what I love about this quote is that uh, it's very vague. It's very... Uh, I, I, I've been reading it for about 20 years and uh, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still trying to figure it out, folks. Uh, and, and that's why I love this statue. That's why I said it's my favorite because of the profound quote inscripted here on this beautiful concrete, this beautiful statue here in Bryant Square Park. Again, the park is named after William, William Cullen Bryant. All right, back to the food stalls. Let's go eat some. Guys, check out the taco joint, man. They got the horchata, the tamarind, the, guana, the guanabana. Mucho, 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 mucho gusto. Ooh, long walk. Nice night. Got some Indian food, some chickpeas, some curry chickpeas. Mm. Wow. Got some vegan stuff here made with jackfruit and pepper. Oh, this is damn good curry. Chickpeas, guys. Chickpeas. Simple. Mm. Oh.
Well, guys and gals, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to hit the like and the sub buttons. It would help me out a lot. Thanks for watching. I'm going to conclude this thing here. I hope you guys enjoyed this walk and this immersive, vicarious experience through one of my favorite places in all of New York City. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, this is Antonio signing off.